What's up you guys, welcome to another Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to create a check dating program. And if you're saying, okay, what the heck is a check dating program? Well, if you don't know, just tap along with me and you will get it. So let's go ahead and create a string real quick and let's set it equal to female and let's set that equal to F. Well, if I'm going out with someone, I just want to make sure that they're female first. Uh, second thing, I want to make sure that they are, uh, let's set that age. I want to make sure that they are less than 25. I mean, 25 and less, mm, I mean, let's change that 28. Um, <laughs> and let's go ahead and just uh, create a simple if statement. And what this if statement is going to check is, okay, is female dot equals f and as you guys can see when i wanted to compare two strings i would use equals method instead of using the double equal sign uh, which is i'm going to show you right now um if and age equals 28 so the requirements, if you want to go out with a girl, these are the requirements. She needs to be a female and she needs to be 20, uh, 28 years, years old. Uh, and let's go ahead and type in system out print line. And you can just go ahead and type she is the one. Let's go ahead and run that. And as you guys can see, it printed out she is the one. I don't know if she's the one or not, but we'll see. <laughs> so what do you guys learn from this tutorial? Basically this, whenever you want to compare two strings, you use the equals method, because if you use the double, uh, the, uh, the double equals here, it's actually not going to compare if these two strings are equal. It's going to compare um, the location of that string in your computer, which is something that we're going to talk about later in the future. But for now, just remember that whenever you want to compare two strings, if they equal each other or not, just use the method equals. And also, if you want to check if something, a number equals another number, you just use the double equal sign and, uh, and that should, that should do it. And, uh, what this means is basically if this is true and this is true then execute this line of code so if you just change that tw from 28 to 29 and you run that as you guys can see the program won't print anything out it's saying okay this is true but mm, age is 29 she's too old for me so mm, sorry i can't date her so but um but what you can do if you actually didn't care about the age is you can actually do or and what this means is basically uh, I mean if she's a female I'm going to date her anyways but I don't care if if her age is 29 or not so if this is true or if this is true now if if they're both true uh, that would be nice but if if her age is to uh, 29 or if she's a female I'm going to date her. basically one of them uh, need to be true for this line of code to be executed. Um, as you guys can see, if I run that, it's going to say she is the one, even though that this statement is false. So to recap real quick, when you, whenever you want to compare between strings, you use the equals method. Uh, whenever you want to compare with integers or numbers, you use the double equals. And this is how you can check for or like this is true or this is true, but not both of them. I mean, if both of them were true, this line of code would be executed anyways. And this is how you can check if both of them are true. It means this is true and also this must be true for this line of code to be executed. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed my uh, dating uh, program.
dating checking program, something like that. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, yada, yada. See you later. Peace out.